Greetings, RC Model Geeks, and here we are in the shed yet again on a rainy day in midsummer in the UK for part 25 of the DW Hobby Fokker DR1 triplane build. So the day has come. It's time to start covering the fuselage. Everything's been done that can possibly be done. So it's time to get the iron out and whack some of that beautiful red covering on. Uh, one thing I had to do this morning very quickly was put on those blocks there for the cowling. I forgot to do those. So I just stuck those on this morning. So I'm going to get the covering out and get the iron out and we'll start with the bottom of the fuselage and basically we're pretty much going to do up to somewhere here there back um, because the the side covering will go around this little bit here so um, there's no point cutting a little bit just to do that uh, hole so that will be taken up by the uh, covering from the side so it's just this bottom bit from here all the way back to the tail there is what we're going to do first. So back with you when I've done some. Okay, so I've just laid the first bit of covering over the fuselage. Uh, just put two slots in it and dropped it over the... Uh, uh, those two bits of carbon fibre that hold the tail skid on and uh, we're now ready to tack it down onto the fuselage so I'm still on my original five metres of uh, covering that I got at the moment but we will be breaking into the next lot I think to, uh, to finish this fuselage but we know we want to use up as much as we can off the roll so back soon Okay, so the uh, the uh, that is on there. Uh, Salt moss peat just uh, came over, so uh, yeah, bang went my five minutes of covering. Yeah, it turned into uh, half an hour. So uh, yes, just got to shrink that down now, and uh, and then that will be uh, done. But uh, yeah, uh, I'll get on with that and then start doing another side or something, and then we'll see uh, how it goes. But this will be this will be covered today as long as nobody else turns up right <laughs> sort of got carried away really with the covering forgot to take any more video plus I had a couple of interruptions so I needed to get on so there is the fuselage covered Not much to say about it, really. <laughs> yeah, it looks all right. Um, underneath is done. Down there. Obviously, it won't really pop until uh, it's got the old varnish on it. And that will make a hell of a difference to how the plane actually looks. But the old pilot's looking happy in there. Looking down the barrels of his guns. There he is. <laughs> so, yeah, um, oh, it's been chucking it down with rain all day today. Um, I would have liked to have sprayed the white uh, panel on here. And then I could have got the cross on and then I could have varnished the fuselage. But it's been pissing down most of the day. So what I think I'll probably end up doing is uh, using white vinyl uh, down here. Because uh, it's only on that side and the other side is a square. So uh, that won't be too bad to do. And the white vinyl looks okay on the uh, on the Eindecker. So... Uh, yeah, so that's probably what I'll end up uh, doing. And plus it, uh, <laughs> it saves up fucks as well. Because if I up fuck when I spray this, 
then uh, you know it's a bit more of a, a rework job than I really want to do. So yeah, so we've got to put some combing uh, around here. Uh, that will be um, well, you have to wait and see. But it's not going to be what they supplied in the kit. Uh, we're going to do something else with that to make it look nice. But yeah, I, it's oh, it's getting closer, closer by the day, you know. So yeah, uh, tomorrow uh, be finishing up the fuselage, getting it varnished, putting that to one side, and then it's really just a matter of bolting it together, and then playing around with the engine and the cowling. Uh, I still want to paint the cowling red or do something red with the cowling. Um, I might just cover the cowling actually, and. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean it'll look uh, it'll look fine enough once it's got the old varnish on there. So that's it. I will see you all tomorrow for another part. And uh, it's goodbye from old Herman there, Herman the German. See you all tomorrow. Thank you for watching, Captain Rob's RC Model Geeks. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to click that like button. If you want to see more of the same type of videos, don't forget you can subscribe. If you want to support us, you can use PayPal, paypal.me forward slash RC Model Geeks. If you want to contact us, you can email us, rcmodelgeeks at gmail.com. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.